Here we are in section 2.7, numbers 1 through 5. We're going to translate, first of all, and then get an equation and solve it. So here we go. 56 is what percent, that's an x, of 448. So we divide by 448, divide by 448. We now have our equation. We solve it, and we get x equals 0.125 or 12.5 percent. There we go. Number two, what is 15 percent, that's 0.15, of 0 0.0012? Notice we don't have to solve anything. X is already by itself. So we get X equals 0.15 times 0 0.0012. Punch that in your calculator, and you get 0 0.00018. Some of your calculators may have punched it out in scientific notation with 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4. That just means that the decimal had to be moved four places that way to get it back to normal. Number three, 421 is 105.25 percent. That's 1.0525. So it moves two places that way of what? So we divide by 1.0525. 1.0525, and we get x equals um, 400. Ooh, right on the dot there. That's pretty cool. Number four, while studying the weather patterns in Omaha, Jackson recorded the, that between the months of March and May, the average temperature highs rose by 25%. So we've got March to May. It rose, that's going to be a plus sign right there, by 25%. If the average temperature in May, so this is the final price, I mean the final temperature, what was the average temperature in March? So we've got to talk, the original in March, I'm going to put an M for March, even though May could have been, but it's March. It rose by 25% of March to end up at 78 degrees. We now have an equation, we solve it. Combine the like terms, we've got 1.25M equals 78, divide by 1.25, divide by 1.25, and we get March is 62.4 degrees Fahrenheit. There we go. And number five, while running her latest marathon, Erica lost 2% of her body weight in sweat. After drinking water after the race, she regained 90% of the weight that she had lost. Ooh, this is going to be a good translation problem. She originally weighed 120 pounds. How much did she weigh after drinking? How interesting. We have the original. That's nice, 120 pounds. So we had 120 pounds, and she loses 2%, 0.02, of her body weight. So I'm going to write this right over here. This is what she lost. And that equals 0.02 times 120 is 2.4 pounds. She's, so she lost 2.4 pounds. After drinking, after drinking the water, she regained 90%. So let's do it in another color. What did she regain? 90% of, so she regained. 90% of 2.4, right? She regained of the weight she had lost. So 90% of 2.4.9 times 2.4, that is 2.16 pounds. So she lost 2.4, she regained 2.16. So we're going to take and put that on the end, plus that 2.16. So overall, 120 minus 2.4 plus 2.6, that gives us 119.76 pounds is how much she weighs now. Okay, good.